Yerd, what is good guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred. Welcome back to another X Defiant video. In today's video, we're jumping in to the X Defiant Season 2 full reveal, the whole debrief, that whole X Defiant show. We're going to be jumping in and just reacting to it, basically. Uh, it's about 23 minutes. Grab your popcorn, grab your bath. Let's jump in, baby. I got my water. I got my strawberries. I got my grapes, a couple of grape sodas. Ooh, we got some sniping action right off the gazette. Right off the gazette, phenomenal. Welcome back to X Debrief, the official X Defiant show. My mic is a little I'm bit your too host, close, man. Yusuf Garcia McGeed, and we have a massive season Yusuf. two reveal episode for you today. The oh, the gangster. We'll be diving deep into the new Highwayman faction, showing off the three new weapons, giving you an inside look into bomb mode, talking bomb mode. Matches, okay. Unveiling the first new map of the season. That's and a lot of stuff that's going over. Coming okay, 23 minutes. Okay. All right. Now, I am not play. just here to tell you what's coming. We're here to show you what's coming. Let's. Everything you can expect from season two. Okay. Let's see it. This is the new um, faction. New faction, yep. Highwaymen? Where are they from? Ooh. Oh no! A sentry gun? No way. What are we looking at? Three new maps. Waterfront? Is a skate park? Oh my god, no it's not. So, is, is these people from another Fallout game? What the hell was that chainsaw gun they had? In a sentry gun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bomb mode. Okay. Finally. Free battle pass track. Okay. Nice smoke bomb. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Show some of the. Press E. Press E. What's that? What gun is that? Nice shotty. Nice slider. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. New rank rewards. Okay. Oh, okay. I actually, I, I like, I, I'm liking this more than uh, season one. Right off the back, the rank rewards look clean. They look clean. Private match is coming soon. Okay, that's lit for, uh, especially content. 90 tiers about to pass. Okay. Season 2 is bringing some Whoa, banger w, updates, y'all. We're going to talk about all of them in depth, but w. we got to start with our new Highwaymen faction. Yes. Where they from? That is crazy. This chainsaw is crazy. Highwaymen don't ask. We take. Highwaymen. These are the Highwaymen. Men. The survivors you got a lady in there. Apocalyptic Hope County, Montana. Led Montana. by sisters Mickey and Lou. Mickey and Lou? So yeah. Fuck right. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Highwaymen are cocky and lethal. Okay. Rushing into battle with nice. a whole lot of nice. firepower. <laughs> firepower, like the M79 grenade launcher, which does Oh much my god, a grenade launcher. Great. Perfect. Or like their scrap turret. And Come on, really? Rains hell really? On that's what we need, right? A machine men gun. Revel in chaos, so their rate of fire and reload speed ramps up as they oh, rack up Oh, that is fire! That is cool. That is cool. And to top it all off, cool. I like they that. brought their saw launcher to the party. Saw launcher, bro. What the hell? Oh my God, this is Fortnite. They're adding Fortnite style I weapons. Think it's cool. I dig damage, it. No I dig mercy. it. Let's get fun. Let's have this fun. This is what the highwaymen are all about. A little rabbit Let's not move. stick to just conventional Ruthless, weapons. You know what I'm saying? It's not Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? The apocalyptic marauders of Hope County are ready marauders. to go on a rampage in season two <laughs> of X to Oh my god. And it bounces off all walls, bro. It's bouncing off a wall. We're here to give you a faction rundown on the oh destructive trait, god. abilities, and ultra of our newest faction, the Highwaymen. 
The Highwaymen God. are a ragtag group of bikers with a colorful sense of style and scrappy ingenuity. Nice. Nice. Their miscreant gang consists of Paolo, an obnoxiously Paolo. drifter from South America who stripped down but nice. ruthless attitude saw him thrive in the post-apocalyptic world of 2035. Lil T, the son of a notorious pro Lil linebacker T. before the apocalypse <laughs> that not only picked up his father's nickname on the field, but also his ability to inflict some career-ending injuries. And Nova, an ambitious highwayman who's Nova. only ever known her crew as she's collected deadly skills and kept a keen eye on taking over as leader. They've not only survived, but dominated the wasteland by employing indiscriminate or lethal force wherever they go. Nice. The Highwayman's passive is revved. As you rack up consecutive kills, this passive will ramp your rate of fire and reload speed, what? making you a snowballing monster on the battlefield. Your passive appears at the bottom of your screen to indicate its current state. Wait. You start at medium following your first kill and reload speed, making you a snowballing monster on the battlefield. You're pevved. As you rack up consecutive kills, this passive will ramp your rate of fire and reload speed, oh, making okay. you a snowballing monster oh, I, I, on the battlefield. Your passive. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like I'm probably I'm not gonna stop it too much, but for a second. I had to listen because I thought they were going, they were showing off um, that the recoil was going to be different as well. I had to listen because I was about to say that's going to be OP if that, if it, you keep getting boost and then your recoil gets better, but that's not the case. Your reload speed is faster and your rate of fire is faster. So that's discriminate insane. lethal force wherever they go. The highwayman's passive is revved. As you rack up consecutive yep. kills, this passive will ramp your rate of fire and reload speed, making Done you a snowballing clip. monster on the battlefield. So your you passive appears in. at the bottom Let's of go. your screen to indicate its current state. You'll start at medium following your first kill, mm. followed by high with your second, and finally maximum after four kills. After Dying four kills, will okay. reset the stacks on your passive. The oh, two okay. abilities in your arsenal okay. are so Scrap Turret and the M79. Store. While it might look like a hunk of junk, the scrap turret is a deployable turret with Bro, 360 degrees That does not look like a hunk of junk. It's the perfect companion to set up and give it's you and your team some cover fire while you take or hold down an objective. The M79 is fairly straightforward. It's a grenade launcher. Yeah. You see an enemy? See blow him up. <laughs> see a phantom shield? Blow it up. See an objective? Blow that up. Spider bot? Definitely blow that up. You'll get two shots with W. It. After you use both shots or upon switching, it will be placed on cooldown. Their okay. ultra is the Saw Launcher. As chaotic a creation as the people wielding it, this weapon launches buzzsaw blades that ricochet oh, off the walls, no. making it a close oh quarters God. nightmare for the yes. enemy team. These saw blades will remain bouncing around oh the area for God. a small period of time before they are destroyed. We've laid out the basics, so now let's talk about how you can utilize the Highwaymen's kit. Revved is a dream passive go for those crazy. looking to drop a bomb in their next match. Nice. Getting consistent kills means you're gaining valuable free stats to your weapons. Yep. If you're feeling confident in stacking your passive, you can drop the attachments focused on reload speed and rate of fire from your right. bow. And that's for cool. other important stats, like decreased recoil, Expanded that, magazine capacity that's or increased the movement speed. Or at least the scrap turret is the perfect bit. wingman for holding objectives or raining bullets yep. onto your enemies from an unexpected angle. That's its relatively crazy, low man. profile means if thoughtfully placed, you can overwhelm a charging enemy before yep. they even know what hit them. Try before placing it under low it. walls or vantage points overlooking high traffic lanes of the map. Oh my Clearing god. Clearing out a congested area is the M79's greatest strength. Use it to clear out clustered enemies or any placed abilities hindering your team's oh, cool, progress. Cool, that's cool. You'll yeah. find that the drop off for this ability is pretty harsh. So aim high if you're going long. Otherwise, okay. you'll find it best used at medium range. At okay. close range, you'll have difficulties exploding anything, though it can be used to deal pretty significant damage to a single enemy if you hit them directly. Okay. Finally, the saw launcher that is best fair. used in close quarters combat. A direct hit with it will kill most base health enemies. 
If nice. you find your enemy holed up somewhere, you can cause a bit of chaos by launching nice. it into the walls of the That's room and giving insane, them some blades bro. of whirling death That's to worry be about insane. before you go in to People hold the point. The highwaymen are a gonna be force crazy. to be reckoned with, offering a multitude of ways you can punish your enemies with overwhelming force. Yeah, this is gonna These be are fun, just a bro. few ways you can use them, but we'd love to hear about the ways you plan on using them. Tag at PlayX to find Is this a uh, ship? Use the hashtag Faction Rundown to share your strategies with what us. What map was that? Or join our official Discord to discuss it with other members of the community. That's it for our Faction Rundown, though. Good luck out there. Embrace yourself for the Highwaymen. Okay, the a grenade man. launcher, an yep. auto turret, a saw yep. launcher? Yep. The Highwaymen are bringing the heat in Season 2, y'all. Yep. And speaking of heat, Season 2's free battle pass includes three new weapons. The okay. PP-19 SMG, the L-86 LMG, and the SPAS-12 shotgun. Here's okay. everything you need to shotgun, know Shotgun, LMG, and a SMG. No AR. So we're still going to be using the AK for the most part. Unless we hey use everyone. an S. Oh my, my god, that looks good. Smith, and I'm Associate Director of Live Operations at Ubisoft hey, San Francisco. Smith. Today, I'm excited to walk you through our upcoming Season 2 weapons. Let's go. Let's our 5th SMG, the PP-19, occupies a unique space SMG. within the class. While our current submachine guns focus on movement speed and rate of fire as their main strengths, the PP-19 focuses on damage and accuracy. The PP-19 yeah. has the highest damage and headshot multiplier of any mm. SMG and tops its okay. class with the fewest shots to kill. We've coupled okay. the increased damage with a large magazine, longer ranges, and a more consistent recoil pattern. And these unique characteristics mean the PP-19 is perfect for players who love the feel of SMGs but prefer a more controlled pace of play. Yep. Solve that problem. One loadout option that we've seen work well for this weapon is increasing its range by combining the barrel extender with the chrome lined barrel. Another attachment combo the team likes is pairing the muzzle booster with nice. the rapid fire nice. barrel which increases the PP-19's rate of fire. When nice. rounding out your loadout, the quick mag and the fast mag are both good options for speeding up the PP-19's reload time. And if you're looking to improve mobility, the quick draw grip, fabric Get grip, em. and the folded stock will do the trick. Cool, 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 cool. Lay, 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 With the L86, we wanted to introduce a faster Ooh. option to the light machine gun weapon class. A it faster features light a full machine pup design, gun. Okay, it so compact, it is going to be like an AR. To run faster, basically. aim faster, and shoot faster than the heavyweight oh LMGs that are currently available. This focus it's on only got 35 in the clip? gives the L86 a oh, more we... assault rifle like feel and offers yeah. a totally unique experience within the LMG class. It's the perfect weapon for players looking for a middle ground between the AR and LMG classes. While I like the L86 that, I like that. does less damage and holds less ammo than the other LMGs, it has one of the fastest times to kill between 30 and 45 meters. This makes it a very strong option when playing on both linear game modes and bigger arena maps like Mayday, Attica Heights, and Liberty. When creating a loadout for the L86, there are two predominant schools of thought. Either lean into its strengths by improving its rate of fire and mobility oh with attachments God. like the rapid fire barrel and the super light grip. Okay. Or you can offset its weaknesses with the vertical grip and the extended magazine. Attachments yeah, that pair say, well with the L86 uh, include the uh, extended booster, mag, rapid fire barrel, super light grip, and nice. the light stock, keep shooting all with that, of which baby. lean into the weapon's strengths. The L86 is also versatile in that you can opt to increase its range with attachments nice. like the barrel extender nice. and the chrome line Keep barrel, Keep or shooting. you can increase the size of the magazine with the extended mag. Give it a the 60, iconic baby. SPAS-12 is our fourth shotgun and nice. immediately carves its own space among the class favorites. Yep. Let's go. For stats, place it between the AA-12 and the M870. I'm not a shotgun a guy, but mix of the you give me a SPAS, let's go. Both. As a semi-automatic shotgun, it's capable of one-shot kills, but truly excels in situations that require a second shot to finish off an opponent. While a bit cumbersome to carry and reload, the s 12 stands out as a bold and relentless option for players yep. that want to embody yep. their favorite yep. action heroes. Woo! It's especially strong on smaller maps with tighter engagement ranges like Arena, Echelon HQ, and Showtime. The best options for improving range are the Choke and Barrel Extender. We found that by combining these attachments with the remove stock allows you to better manage that distance to your opponents. This weapon has improved spread while aiming, so there's also value in adding attachments that increase the ADS walking speed. 
We can't wait for you to get your hands on these yeah, new I weapons test and to see the loadouts that you come up with. For sure. Let us know I in think the, the comments what your favorite weapons are. It's going to be something that we just rank up Is this just to have it. an LMG right? guy? But, mm, probably not. But maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in our season one reveal, we gave you a tease at the You're new You're going to become an SMG guy. Mode. Well, today we're fully revealing it and giving you an inside look into what makes Bomb so unique. Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity, oh to my see God, the bomb and plant Yusuf it, is cooking. Or let it slip. <laughs> well, get ready Let's for go. that opportunity because X Defiant's <laughs> new One Life mode, Bomb. Is coming Yusef in is two. cooking. In bomb, two this. teams of six will be split into attackers Let's and go. defenders and switch sides every round. Attackers will be tasked with picking up the bomb and planting it go. at one of two locations, while defenders try to prevent the bomb from being planted or defuse it once it's been planted. Eliminating the opposing team will automatically win you the round, except in the instance when attackers have already planted the bomb, in Ooh. which case defenders will still need to defuse it to win. The first team to win six rounds wins the entire match. Of course, with only one life per round, tension is at an all-time high, and strategy and communication are more important than ever. A well-placed okay. shock wire, revealing oh, intel soup scan, or a cheeky spider bot deployment can be the difference between a win and a loss. Oh, I'm at yo spider bot is asking for a one life tactical is... mode. And so we're we're trying to deliver on that. We want players to Bottom take all things, not just the match and considerations, in but like the loadouts, one, and their faction abilities, and the guns bomb, they use. And bomb. They and, call it bomb. You know how they're going to coordinate as a team. Map positioning is key. You need to be able to hold down power positions. And so, looking at approaches to bombs, since there's two sites, you, you kind of have to split your focus. As the other team, they can even you know use counter tactics. They can set a diversion. Abilities are huge. I think yeah. ADS is going to be a sleeper pick uh, for abilities. You know, being able to put something down where a device is going to be nullified before it gets to you, so you can throw one down, start defusing a bomb. You'll invariably see a bunch of grenades heading out your direction, and hopefully you'll you'll be able to, to knock those out. Obviously, tried and trues like Intel suit and, and Mag Barrier are key, as well as yeah. active camo. Like using a jet nair, setting a bomb to be active, and then hide in a corner, go camo, and you just look at the bomb until someone tries to disarm it. Right. Nice. Your weapon selection is also just as important. And I think it even varies based on like the role you're playing. A lot of people just think, what can I do, or what ability should I pick to be effective for just me? But you can't think about that in, in bomb. Yeah. It's much more of a team-oriented game mode. I would say the number one tip when you first get into bomb, be very careful with your life. You have one. I would say that's even more important than your skill selection and the weapon you use. You just have to remember, like, if I get an engagement and I lose, I'm, I'm done for that round and I'm no longer helping my team. And if that still happens, communicate with the team. At least they'll know, like, hey, there are three people over here that I just ran into. So our plans for Bomb is to first release it just on the casual playlist. Uh, we want to get it out okay, there, get people experience sense. with it. That makes and sense. And more importantly, get their feedback and see what they like, what they don't like, and make adjustments before we drop it into the ranked playlist. Players have been asking for a really exciting strategic mode, and I think we're going to deliver it with this. In addition to Bomb mode, Season 2 is bringing something the community has been asking for since day one, private matches. Here's okay. system designer Pat Price to tell you more. Private matches, let's go. That's a W for Private matches creators. are coming to X Defiant, and this will be the only place that you can set up a completely custom game for you and your friends. You'll be able to select the map, the mode, whether that be an unranked or ranked version. You'll be able to select how many XP? players you want to play with in that it lobby. It looked like it was gained and an typically in X Defiant, you can only play 66 in unranked or 4v4 in ranked. In private match, you can completely customize this, whether it be a 1v1, a 2v2, or trios. You have that option to play how you want to play. Private match is something that we know many of our fans have wanted, and we're going to support it and have it evolve over time. Like many of our features in X Defiant, community feedback is really important so we can give players the best experience possible. We're really excited to see what our players do with this feature, whether it be grassroots tournaments, party games, right. or just playing with your friends. And this is the only place in Next Defiant that you'll be able to do that. We think this is a great tool for the community, really no matter who you are. If you're an aspiring pro player, a caster, a content creator, or just looking for a night of games with your friends, 
This is going to elevate the X-Define experience, and we can't wait to see what the community does with it. You'll be able to play any of your No New Friends matches on any <laughs> of X-Define's 17 maps, and the new map launching with Season 2, Waterfront. Okay. Here to give you a breakdown of the Waterfront map is our map expert, That's Layla. the skate park one that we've seen with the school bus, right? Yeah. That problem. It is my park? pleasure to welcome you to Hope County with our latest map, Waterfront. Though it may not be the warm welcome you're hoping for. Why they call it Waterfront? There's no water. Hi folks, my name is Layla, oh, there and it is. I am I the Global the Maps producer at Ubisoft San Francisco, supervising all of our incredible map teams as they work to bring your favorite Ubisoft franchises to X Defiant. The Ubisoft San Francisco map team hopes this new arena-style map will help you ring in a new dawn as you play game modes like oh, Occupy far, and Macho. Far Cry New Dawn. Okay. Hope County after the collapse is a colorful and dangerous place where the people you meet are just as likely to be friend as they are to be foe. In order to properly I'm capture surprised that we don't feeling, get, um, we opted Assassin's for a larger Creed, map size uh, to give our teams the space they needed stuff? to pay homage properly. Before this meant leaning Assassin's into a Creed, longer range play um, style, which gives you a chance to put your marksman and sniper rifles but to good use. Just be who aware, knows? there could still be danger lurking around every long. corner. And that includes our and new threat in Season 2, the, game the High Road Faction. During the game is they have peak. made themselves right at home in this skate park slash music stage I think area, you want to capitalize adding their on it. signature colorful flair and makeshift watchtowers pretty much everywhere. We also wanted to make sure we captured the beautiful natural landscape, so we chose a waterfront location nice. to convey a sense of peace amidst the chaos. <laughs> the post-apocalyptic backdrop offers the chance to explore abandoned structures and empty sheds that tell their own story. This is also the perfect playground to try out the highwayman's unique skills. Find clever spots to slap down a scrap yep. turret to greet unwanted visitors. Or take your enemies by surprise when rounding a corner with your M79 nice. grenade launcher aimed directly at them. Oh my god. Better yet, this be try insane. firing off your ultra in the skate park and watching the buzzsaws bounce around as you rack up kills. Bro, this we is had a lot of crazy, fun coming up bro. with an exciting map to welcome the highwaymen to Oh, this is the boat. Fight. This is the boat that we've seen. I'd encourage you to soak up the beautiful environment around you. So I'm not sure the enemy team will give you the same courtesy. <laughs> so enjoy the Super Bloom at your own risk. The Super Bloom. A big thank you again to the Maps team at Ubisoft San Francisco for helping bring Hope County to X w, Defiant with the w Waterfront map. map. W now Map. Get out there and w make map. Mickey and Lou proud. Or they may just have to go rabbit hunting. Payback. In addition to Waterfront, Season 2 is bringing two additional maps, Signal okay. and Air and Space meaning soon X Defiant will feature 20 different maps. W. Now, to wrap things up for today, we're gonna check in with community developer Zach Paget, who's gonna give you a look at what's coming down the road for X Defiant. Okay. Clips. Hey everybody, I'm Zach Paget, okay. the community developer on X Defiant. I hope you've been enjoying the special edition of X Debrief for our season two reveal. Recently, we shared the year one roadmap for X Defiant, and let's dive into it. As you know from watching this video, we have a new faction coming with Season 2, the Highwaymen, as well as new weapons, a new mode, bomb that's season been three requested is be, by many um, of the players. We also have Assassin's Creed. map it voting like for rank and the beta launch of private matches. But it doesn't end there. In Season 3, you're getting a new faction, new weapons, new attachments, new maps that are honestly quite amazing, as well as a new mode and the full launch of private matches. There's also additional features coming in Season 3, such as Prestige Mode, Prestige Rewards, Faction Mastery, and oh yeah, Kill Camp. Then we'll okay. have Season 4, which is going to bring a new faction, weapons, maps, device, mode, weapon skin challenges, and more features to come. Weapon skin challenges. We can't challenges. wait for you to that play all of these seasons, and so we actually have a special treat. This Friday, you'll be able to test out Season 2 on PC for three hours. We'll have more oh, details on social media, but we can't w. wait to see what feedback you might have for Season 2. So we get now, some early play some amazing clips that have been submitted by you, and we'll see you next time. Nice. 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 You're in the groove, operator. Nice. All right. A w, I think the rest is just clips, but 
overall it does look fire i'm excited to get to, to play more of x defiant and happy that they're not just giving up unlike you know concord and uh, other stuff i really I, I i i'm glad that they're allowing people to send in their clips please like i have it 4k or something <laughs> Some of these look 720p and it looks ooh. It looks very ooh. But cool though, nonetheless. That they're part of these things. Shout out to all the people that are part. And I think that's it. I think we're done. That's cool. Cool. W. Daddy, gamer, Fred, and trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!